Okay. Um. What's that? I made a mess. Um. Yeah. So I've never done tack haul before. So I just kind of press record. So let's see what happens. Um. Okay. So. As you can hopefully see, maybe possibly, there's a plethora of Dover things behind me on the bed. Um, so, the story is that my uncle, who is like super cool, like, I don't know if I've ever met anyone cool in my life, he's like pretty cool. Um, he took me to Dover and told me to just go shopping. <laughs> I'm not going to say how much things were because, I don't know, I, I just, I don't think that's significant. I just think, yeah. But um, this was very, 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 very intensely requested on my Instagram and Facebook. So yeah, here it is. <laughs> my tack haul. Um, I need some chapstick. Why do I not have chapstick? So I don't really know where to start, but I'm just gonna kinda dive in. <sighs> I've got the things that my Uncle Spike picked out, and so yeah. So first is the Horseman's Pride um, Jolly Ball. It's the 10 inch ball for average size horses, which is convenient because my horses are average size. Um, and he actually got me the one that's 40 inches that looks like a giant beach ball, which you might have seen on my Instagram. And the horses are still trying to figure that one out, but I think they'll like this because Elliot likes to grab things and investigate them. And so yeah, I'm hoping they'll like this one too. So that's that. And then he got this gigantic bag of Mrs. Pastry's Cookies for Horses. And it's the all natural, oh wait, just kidding, that's not the flavor. It says it's just the Mrs. Pastor's five pound refill bag. I don't know how you refill it, but okay. It's very heavy and has a lot of cookies in it. And he decided that my horses need these because my horses are treat obsessed. And it's really bad. It's like a problem. But I usually make my own cookies, but it's kind of a hassle. It takes a long time and it takes up a lot of the ingredients that we usually use for like dinner and stuff. So my mom's not a whole big fan of that. So this, this, gigantic bag will last me a long time, so I'm excited to start using these. I was actually just running out of treats, so that's pretty handy. So then, my next item that I got, um, is this really ugly thing. It's like, oh, it's like 40 pounds. Say hi, you smell so bad. You smell, you smell so bad. So they say it's called a, um, I don't really know, come here, come love me. I don't know where the tag is, can't find it, but I think it's called a Nemo, and um, it's full of kids. <laughs> I actually got two of these because I needed one um, for each horse, I'm just going to leave the other one over there because I don't need to show you two of them, two of them. but um, it's a, it's called the wrap and bandage holder, and it's for, the, in the big slot here, the big Nobu wraps go in there, and then in this slot, the standing wraps go in there, and I cannot wait to put this up, because just the other day, I was getting frustrated, because I have these crates with all my shipping wraps in them, and they're getting in the way, and they're getting dirty, because they're on the floor, and it's just driving me nuts. So, I got two of those, and that's going to help a lot with um, staying organized, and keeping them clean and everything. So, excited for those. Okay. So in here I have some like some of the grooming and show supplies. Why isn't this focusing? I think that's focused. I don't know. It could be totally fuzzy. Um, so first I got the Absorbing Hoof Flex Therapeutic Conditioner Original Liquid. Okay. So it's the Absorbing Hoof Flex um, Hoof Conditioner. Yeah, and I'm excited to use this because Foxy's hooves crack really badly, and um, so I want to keep them nice and, you know, hoofy instead of cracky. Anyway, so after that runs out, I got, I actually usually make my own hoof oil to keep the horse's hooves nice, and it works, but I'm sure, I'm hoping the hoof flex will work a little bit better. Um, but after I run out of that, I got this. 
Um, it's the Dover. It's just like you know, it's just super simple. It's a bottle with a brush, and it's empty inside, and it's just for hoof oil, and um, to I guess it's just for mixing your own because that's what I'm gonna use it for. But this was a whole lot cheaper, and I don't have a functioning way to apply it once I make my own. So this will help a lot and keep things a lot less messy. So, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apologize if I'm pronouncing this wrong because me and my pronunciation skills are like shameful. Like I probably make people cry. Um, so this is the Vetrolin, Vetrolin, Vet I'm just gonna go with Vetrolin. Mm -hmm. um, detangler. Okay, it's the Vetrolin Detangler. And I love this stuff. It's, let's see, that's what it looks like. Ta-da. And it's, um, how many ounces? 12 ounces. And I just put in, like, a quarter size um, dollop, like, every two to three days. And I, I work it into the horse's tails, and it keeps them really nice and tangle-free and... I think I overuse it a little bit. <laughs> it's like really bad, but this lasts a long time and I'm actually just starting to run out of the one I currently have. So I figured a backup will be in order and put to good use. So, and then we got, I have like a problem with the Vetrolin products. Like I can't have enough of them. I don't think it's possible to have enough of them. I could probably like have a separate tack room just for these products and I'd be so happy. Um, so I got the White and Bright Deep Cleaning Color Brightening Shampoo. It's the shampoo that's purple, and you put it on white spots, and like anywhere that's white on your horse or light color or something like that. So you put it on anywhere that's like white or light colored on your horse, and I usually leave it on for like five to ten minutes. I never count, I just kind of guess because I'm a horrible person. I leave it on there, and then you rinse it out, and it takes out like stains and dark spots and just lightens up the whites and it's really nice like I don't even want to talk about how gross Foxy's white legs get this stuff it's necessary handball ooh chapstick if you don't own a single pair of petties I don't know what you're doing with your life because before I found these, I was in a tough spot. But these petties, you rescued me, man. Um, so I'll show you guys the packaging. It comes like actually well put together, but I already took them out of the package. So it looks like a mess. Um, so down here on the bottom, it's like a thick kind of a boot sock sort of. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but then on the top, it's that thin sort of Zoc material. Like, I don't know, I think it's a brand of Zocs. Um, and then it like, right at the ankle, it converts. Okay, so this is what the entire thing looks like. And I love this so much because I can't, I don't know if I'm the only person, but I cannot wear regular Zocs because I just wear through the toes and like the heels and it, they, they're just, they last like a day. And if you, I'm sure I like... If you guys know my Instagram, you see that I don't ride English all the time. I usually ride in a work saddle with my Western boots. But these, I mean, honestly, they're not just for English riders. Like, I wear these with all of my boots. I wear these with, like, if I'm at work and I have to wear my other boots. Like, I, I just, I love them so much because they prevent rubbing on your calf, but then they have the thickness of a boot sock down here. And, like, your calf doesn't get all sweaty because it's not thick up here. And I just, <sighs> I love them so much. It wasn't exactly on my original plan of things that I wanted to get necessarily, but I just thought it was really cool and useful and I will probably use it for a very long time and it will always come in handy. Um, it looks like a regular tape measure, but it's not. Um, <laughs> it doesn't have an official name, it just says horse measure, but it's, it's a tape measure that measures... Come on, come on, do it for me, Cameron. It measures in hands. Like, how cool is that? I just think that's so cool. Probably not that cool to anybody else, but I just think it's really cool. Because 
you know, Elliot is still growing. He's two and he's growing like five miles every day and he's gigantic. Um, <laughs> but I just, I, I've been dealing with this little short um, measuring tape and it's just a hassle and I don't like it. So I can't wait to use this on him. Hopefully he doesn't run from the yellow tape. Um, but in case anyone is wondering, I am 16 too. My mother is 16 and my stepdad is 17 hands. Now you know. I can never have enough of this. The amount of this that I use during show season should probably not be okay. I think this is the right one. My boys look sexy, so that's all that matters. Um, it's the Absorbing Super Shine Hoof Polish in black. And it comes in clear as well, but I like the black for the stuff that I need. And then another Absorbing product that I can never have enough of is the Show Ring Shine Original Hair Polish and Detangler Shoshin. And this doesn't do a ton for Foxy because he's roan and he can't he he just won't be shiny a lot as much as Elliot will but it's um it's 32 ounces am I gonna focus okay um it's 32 ounces it'll last me a good while um shake well I've never shaken this whoops and I usually just put it on right before showing or I usually will put it on right after the bath, like when there's three quarters of the way dry, and then I'll kind of do a little touch up right before showmanship, and then I might do some before I get in the ring, but usually by that point, all the other horses are so dusty, it doesn't matter, <laughs> which is really bad. I should probably show my horse better, but mm. I actually got for myself, but it's a horse product, which is really embarrassing, but I'm an embarrassing person. Um, so all of my hairbrushes, whether they're Dollar Tree or like expensive ones, have gone to the horses because the second that the little beads fall off the end it drives me nuts and I can't stand it so I use it for their tail because they don't care at all anyways so I um I chose a hairbrush for myself because I'm a loser and the current one that I'm using has like no beads on it but I have so many hairbrushes down at the barn I'll just toss the old one but it's the Come on. It's the Tail Tamer brush. It's no specific one. It's just the Tail Tamer one. Um, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping because it was originally made for horse tails that it will withstand my thick, short ugh, hair. <laughs> this is gonna be such a weird video. I apologize. This um, rubber grooming mitt. So it's the rubber grooming mitt, and it's like super simple not very intensely intense but you just put your hand on in there ew it's like slimy inside um anyway so you just it's 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 oh my fingers can come out the top look at that mm. <laughs> um you just put your hand inside and ew there's like powder in it anyway um and i'm excited to use this because I like to curry the horses because it gets their blood, or <laughs> it makes a healthy coat. And the curry brush is just kind of annoying to use around their knees and everywhere that, of course, where the mud is. So this will hopefully help get around their nooks and crannies. And then this one is, it looks like the same thing, but I swear it's not. This is the Epona Ultra Mitt. Probably pronouncing that wrong, too. I don't know. Um... This is a almost the same kind of idea, but it's it's got these like it's almost like a spongy material. And let's see if I can get even more focused. Um, it's kind of like this spongy, wiry almost material. Ooh, it's a hairnet. It's the Real Women Ride hairnet. It's the, it's like, it's like a no knot, yeah, no knot hairnet. I got it in light brown. Mm -hmm. um, okay. It's the Real Women Ride No Knot Hairnet. And it's, it is very easy to put on. Like, the one knot hairnets make me so mad because I have so much hair and they're still really loose on my head. 
and it, they just, they're so complicated, and I tried, I don't remember why I originally got this, it might have been a present, I don't know, but I, I can't show without it, I, I can't, or ride, it, like, I, I can't, I, I just can't ride without it, it's like riding without pants, it's just weird. I have a lead with a chain on it, but the chain is uh, really short. I don't know if it's like pony size or something, but it's really short. And I can just get it over their nose, but then if I get it over the nose, it's too long. Like I have too much slack, but if I put it all the way up to the where it's supposed to be clipped, it's too short and it's like way too tight and it's just <laughs> stressful. Um, so I got the Deluxe Poly Nylon Lead with Shank. Um, but it's just, I got it in black because they had both blue and green, which green is Elliot's color and blue is Foxy's. They had both, but I figured I'm going to use it for both horses. So I would want it to match both of them. And they had a white one, but my white one, I have a current white one. It just gets dirty. But it has this nice chain. I'm really excited about this. Like, I didn't have a nice belt. Like, all my belts are from Target or whatever. And my only nice belt was actually the one that my Uncle Spike bought me last year which is my show belt, so obviously I'm not going to wear it around town. The Area Rhinestone Filigree. Okay, it's got this beautiful buckle on it that's got rhinestones and everything, and then it's got the tool belt, and yeah, I'm really excited because it's not, um, it's not too big of a buckle, and it's just the right sparkle, and I love tool belts and like saddles and things. So, um, yeah, and Ariat, I love Ariat products overall, so I'm excited to wear that. I think I might wear that tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. And my next product, this is actually the third one I have of the exact same thing, but that might tell you how much I like it. Um, so this is a bridle, and the first one I bought that's exactly like it, like it's the exact same one, was used. And then I bought the same one at the Dover tent sale because um, Elliot needed one. And I liked how it was adjustable and it fits both my horses. Um, but the one I bought used, I was using for Foxy. And his the braided reins are starting to come apart. And it's just cracking and it's not pretty. So it's just the regular plain old fancy Snapple bridle. I don't know if it has a more official name. But um, it's like super plain and... Um, original focus. Okay, so it's got the stitching on it, and it's got the padding on the other side, um, which I love. The one that I have for Ellie and for Foxy, they're both full sizes, and they have two completely different size faces. Like Ellie or Foxy is an elephant, and Elliot has this little tiny petite head, and I can adjust them so they fit both. So that's awesome. My trainer just texted me. I have two of the same bridle, and my, a bunch of my teammates have the same bridle. So, um, and I didn't want to get it, I didn't want to get the two bridles mixed up between Ellie and Foxy because they actually have the same bit too. So I got two crown piece um, nameplates. I think that I got them in gold, and they're just going to say their show name or the registered names, and that's just going to go on the crown piece. And I don't know how long Dover takes to make those. It took them like a week to make my... Um, bracelets, so I'm hoping it'll be like the same time. No. So if you follow me on Instagram or are friends with me on Facebook or are unfortunate enough to be friends with me in real life, um, you might know that I have a polo wrap problem. So I got the um, VAC original polo wraps in red. Hi, mommy. So these look kind of like pinkish and orangish on here, but that's just my lighting. But they are very red, and I'm excited to use those. And in my other pair, I wear a lot of gray t-shirts, and I was like, how many people have gray polo wraps? Like, I think they're cool. Um, I love, I have a lot of um, polo wraps by this brand, the VAC brand, I don't know. But I have a lot of polo wraps by them, and they've held up beautifully, and they are not, like, getting old and, like, rough. They're staying nice and soft and very nice. <laughs> Oh, looky there, another Vetrolin product. The Vetrolin Liniment. And I've never had this before, but my trainer has it, and she uses it at shows and lets me use it, and I love it so much. So before I got this, I was just using mouthwash from um, the dollar store because 
it does the same basic idea, but I'm really excited to have this because this is like the real deal. Pour it into their bath water, like um, you take a bucket and you pour it in there and then you put it on the sponge. After a hard workout or um, if you're at a show or something, it helps their muscles relax and not tighten up and everything. So that's good to have. And Elliot has a really big stride, like, I don't know, he, he has a really big stride. Um, <laughs> so he got the Davis Bell Boot in medium, and I, I'm hoping this is the right size. He could be a small, but I don't think so. Um, it's just the regular black ones. I'm not even going to focus it because it's not that detailed. Um, just the Davis black Bell Boots, rubber ones. They're not the ribbed kind or anything like that. These um, I have found to help hold up the best. I've gotten like the cheap ones just because they're cheaper and they he wore them like a day before I had to take them off because they weren't doing anything because they were so torn up. And these I actually have held up the best. None of them have had the Velcro ripped off so far. Um, so I just got him another pair of those because these are really good to have because I'm not too fond of him ripping his shoes off. And along with those I got um, the professional's choice where's the tag professional choice ballistic bell boot i got these solely for working and riding him because i want to keep his gross pasture ones and his nice riding ones separate if i can um so oh my cat's in the background look at that meow he responded um where's oreo oreo what are you doing what are you doing, Kitty Kitty? And you're okay. Elliot recently, or before he went on break, has discovered that he had a breakaway halter at first, and he discovered that if he completely sets back and uses all his might to rip against the wall, then he can get loose. So he has, de so Elliot has developed just a little bit of a pulling issue when he's tied, um, which he's getting a lot better at. Um, but obviously he's been on break, so I'm not sure how he's going to feel about that when he comes back from break. Um, and he's broken a ton of halters so far, so, but the only one I've found that hasn't broken is this really, really thick nylon one, which I love, and it's been great to me. But it's a little gross looking because I got it used, and it's purple, which really bothers me because that's not his color, and his things, every, like, both horses' things need to be in their color, like, I don't want to own anything that's not in their color. So, I got Elliot the Hamilton halter, and it's that thick nylon that I love, and it's got the brass all over it, but it's just the regular Hamilton, I don't know if you can see that little brass label thing, um, halter, and it's nice and thick, and it's in a hunter green color. Um, so, <laughs> I'm happy to have that in his color. And then, of course... You can't get one horse thing of something without getting the other one something to match because that's just against the horse rules. So Foxy also got the exact same halter in his color blue. So they can be cute little twinsies. Because they both have their um, personalized monogram halters, which I use for shows, but I wanted them to have halters that actually fit them and aren't gross and used and disgusting for the barn and stuff like that. The one thing I forgot in my car or my mom's car, um, is the lunge whip, and I just didn't bring that in or in my room because it's really large, <laughs> and my dog would probably cry, but it's just the regular really long lunge whip in black, and it's got the, um, twine off the end, I don't know, I'm horrible with terms, I'm just gonna say that. It's the, how do I, halter and bridle carrier, just, just, from Dover. I don't think it has a certain brand. Um, but it's rather large and it has this little pouch at the bottom which I can put all my things in and then it, it's got three hooks on the inside and they're pretty durable and movie aroundy which is pretty convenient. So I decided to use that because when my team goes to fairground shows we all share a tack room and I like to keep my stuff organized and out of the way and all together if I can. You are irrelevant. Irrelevant, darling. I got my mac and cheese. Okay. I have so much to cut out of this video. 
Anyways, so my last two items are the biggest items that came home with me. And <laughs> I'm still kind of having a hard time believing that I own this, but I do. It's sitting right here, and it's really not. So, um, my English saddle is just like a smidge too wide for Elliot. Or not wide, but just large for him because he's more petite than Foxy, obviously. So, I was originally going to get the Circuit half pad from Dover. And it was on sale for a better price. And But then once I got there, it was just not what I thought it was. It was thinner. It was like harder. And it wasn't as thick as it looked. So I was going to get it anyways just to get something. And I don't want to get something too expensive. But then I realized this was also a good price. And it was a little bit more for, it was just a little bit more for what I really wanted. So that evened out. So it's the Fleece Works. The Fleece Works. And the only one they had was in medium, so I'm hoping it fits. It says it's a 17 and a half, um, but I think my saddle's like a 16 and a half or a 17, so we'll see how that goes. But it's the only one they had, and the small is apparently like a 15 inch saddle, so that's not gonna work. Um, it's the Fleece Works um, all purpose half pad. I don't know if it has any more description, but. Oh my gosh, it is so soft and so squishy. It's like memory foam. And I just like, oh, can I keep it in my bed and like sleep on it? Elliot is one lucky horse. So I, my first show is like, I don't know what my first show is, but I'm so excited to use this because my horse is going to look fresh. He's not going to be fresh, but he's going to look fresh. Last thing here is the Riding Sport. Um, three in one jacket in black and gray and I think this is the coolest thing like ever I have, I have never seen this in like any of the catalogs or online or anything and my uncle pointed it out and I am just so fascinated by this technology I don't think I it's like way past me I, I, I love it because it's a really good alternative to my Carhartt because my Carhartt is really warm and toasty and everything, but it's not waterproof and once it gets wet it takes like a day or three to dry. It's a rain jacket, but not only that, the rain jacket part comes off and you can unbutton it and everything and you, just, you can just wear this insulated part and it's super warm and toasty but it's also like not hefty and like restricting and everything um and it says it's a three in one but i have yet to figure out what the third part is which um if it does rain on saturday i will wear this and i will hopefully figure out what that third part is um because it's so cool as a two in one anyway <laughs> that's what the back looks like it's not in focus but oh well <laughs> so um, I'm going to eat my mac and cheese now, and I'm going to enjoy it. Um, so that is my tack haul for my trip to Dover with my uncle. I did not intend to pick out and charge as much as I did, but he just told me to keep going, so I kept going and going and going and going and going going but this is all stuff that I will definitely put to use and will be very well loved and used and very 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 useful I am so thankful to know my uncle Spike and I know someone as kind and generous as him because he's like I said he's pretty swaggy pretty swaggy um I kind of went into a little shock, like, after the trip. It's still hard to believe, and, like, I cannot wait for show season to start so I can use all this stuff and, like, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm just so thankful and so blessed, and I just don't know what to say because that's pretty cool that there are people out there that are kind enough to help other people, and... Make people happy, which I'm very happy.
I'm not really sure how to end this. Yay.